I'm a little worried that this is Somju off the bat, uh, in a two minute long TikTok with Somju. So, I hope, I hope it's not taking shots of my boy, because I'm swinging back if you are. No, but like, why is the Overwatch comp system so ass? Like, okay, oh, I like where we're going. That's true. Hang on. So wait, what did he do? He's what? five and four. Oh, and he ranked down from GM two to GM four. Okay, I technically know the answer to this, but I don't. It's it's still stupid. No, but like, why is the Overwatch comp system so ass? Like, if it weren't for games like Apex Legends, I think it also. Would can I just say, Samju is one of the funniest mother. I've ever met and that dude is top tier at baiting people with clips on like Twitter and stuff and people without fail always get so mad at him you know he's actually one of the few people that I'm happy Twitter's monetized for at this point because it's self funny would have the contention for the worst ranked system of all time and the only reason Apex Legends is on that list is because they at one point made it so scuffed you could win to get to like the highest tiers of play by not true Apex kind of ruined it Apex ruined itself Apex pulled an Overwatch where it tried to listen to its like high level players and only listened halfway and then broke it. Shooting a gun in a first person shooter game. But like, here's a thought, right? So, you know how the card system has five wins before your rank changes, right? You know how each division of the five tiers is split up by a percentage so you can tell how high up or how low down you are in that role, right? What uh -huh. if we took it a step further and instead of these wins or losses, we did some like revolutionary idea like- All the numbers. Putting a number. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. And then every time you win, that number goes up and every time you lose, that number goes down. And every time you draw, maybe the number goes up, maybe it goes down, it depends on your performance in that game but okay it, for those who are new and don't understand the reason why they changed the rank system was because a lot of people were very anxious about queuing, queuing ranked back in the day and was like the numbers going down the numbers going down and um so they were trying to change it to make it so it was more user friendly and people wouldn't get anxious about playing ranked that is genuinely the answer but it would be much more slight than a win or a loss. And then after each game, instead of every five games, we show this feedback to the players in some sort of system. I wish there was a game that did that. Maybe after each game, we could see a stat performance list that shows what we did. No offense, he's showing Valorant's. Valorant's, match, or Valorant's ranking system was not better than original Overwatch. Didn't do, and then there'd be like a scale or something. This, this is the mock up from some imaginary thing. Because apparently, I think original Overwatch, pro if we had the exact same system we had in Overwatch 1, you probably would have needed to add an extra rank at, at this point because there's such a skill disparity between old, really f good players. Like, we're talking GM. Like, no, no, we're not talking GM. We're talking top 500 versus low GM because there's a lot of low GM gamers that are like from other games that are really good at FPS gaming, but they don't hold a candle to high level, like top 500. It's the difference between me and a pro player. Like a lot of people think I'm really good, but I always tell people, no, 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 there's a big difference between me and pros. There's just like that extra X factor they have and it's much more intense. And I'm probably one of the better like ranked ladder players, but they have a different step. But there's also a new gap in between us and the Overwatch 2 players. And that gap, I don't think is ever going to get filled between the new Overwatch 2 players, even if they're really good, and the old top 1%. So there might have been another rank that had to be squeezed in there somewhere where you can identify the difference between like the insane top 500 players that are nowadays like top 100, top 200 versus like the new GM5, GM4 players, right? Like, because so many players now like hit gm they're like oh I, I got gm last season and no offense to those players but in my eyes those were like diamond players in overwatch one like they're, they're skill caliber like if there's such a difference between gm5 gm4 gm3 gm2 and gm1 and then the difference between gm1 and top 500 and low top 500 and high top 500 and high top 500 slash contenders slash contenders slash overwatch league player is insane Anyways, let's go. Apparently it's really hard to do this. Like some sort of bar that shows, hey, this is what you need to do to get to the next rank. This is how your most recent games have impact. Yeah. Like just if if only there was like I still think Overwatch 1s was probably the best. So that ranking up and ranking down feels Like that was one of the few things we never complained about. It's easier to read. Overwatch players need to We can, we complain about maybe matchmaking. About how ass the card We complain about queue times no one for DPS players. That if you we complain about the meta. Card near the end but I don't think season, we really complained about how the game. you were scaled as a player. Astonishing 
extremely stupid. And if you didn't know, if you're looking at a 414 card or something, right, where any loss will rank you, any win will derank you, if you just don't play till the end of the season, you will keep your MMR. Well, you won't keep- That's not true. Keep your MMR, you will keep your displayed rank. No? Which is the one people actually care about. That's not true. Oh. You know what system gets- You get pushed. So like, let's say you're Diamond 5 and you lose 14 games. And you win four, right? And then you get pushed down, right? Like, if you don't finish the last game, you will finish the season at like Plat 1. That- or plat two. That's not how that works. Gets around this. A system that used to be in the game. That that that, that was tech. That is actually not true. But I see the point they're trying to make. But that is legitimately not true. Holy shit, guys! It started. There's a new thing. We've passed this? the point where people can say, "Oh, top 500 Doomfist player here. I rolled this matchup all the way." Wait, time. what? Wait a minute. Time. Now it's I'm a level 20 Orisa main. I'm not even saying this is wrong. I think they're 100% right. You can 100% beat a bad matchup as a character wait, by my... just knowing the matchup well. The more you play a character, the better you get at your matchups. But this means that the Overwatch progression system worked like it got people to feel like they're progressing regardless of rank in terms of their expertise with a wait game. this person's level 20 on orissa's hero progression and they're they're flexing and is like oh my wait a minute we actually are in a different era holy f that's that's awesome dude it's gonna be so funny in like six months it's gonna be like the like flexing hours type of thing, you know? Like, yeah, like you know, like hey, respect you. You put a bunch of hours in, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. You know? Wait a minute, that's so Character. cool. This is going to become like the new I have gold damage or blah 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 peak thing. I feel like for a lot of the casual player base in this game, because it's just a way of showing your expertise with the character, and I think that's a good thing. But it's just so funny watching it happen in real time. This was not a thing people said two weeks ago. This is now a thing people are saying. This is gonna become the new flex in my comments, I can guarantee it. But it's gonna be in like the worst way possible. It's gonna be like... That's so funny. Trick ...being like, oh, actually you're wrong. She's super good at blah blah blah. And you're just sitting there like, oh god, dude, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, that's actually really funny though. I actually like that. That's cool though. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's gonna be used in the worst and dumbest ways possible, but like that doesn't make it any less funny or cool. Wait, what is this? I'm scared. Oh, this is a connoisseur. Oh God, it's a Doomfist connoisseur. Wait, they're on a controller too. Wait, it's a con- Wait a minute. He hits the wall, cancel, turn, punch, jump, slash, hits the block to maintain momentum. Perfect. This is 63,000 likes. That's a level 20 Doomfist right there. Okay, I'm moving on. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Fun is too much fun. Uh-oh. Wait, I think this guy's Jim. I think I remember this guy. Guys, I think I figured out Blizzard's new philosophy on balancing the game. Fun is no longer allowed. This is why they keep buffing a risk. <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely a higher level game. Watch this. What? This is f***ing evil. Gets May walled in. Figured out Blizzard's Pops new philosophy. Ramatra uh, shift to mostly survive. Gets boot back during it. Balancing gets game. speared Fun as well. No Sorry, gets speared, then boot back. Wow. And then get spinny speared off the map. Uh, and, and Cole Cassidy. Like, seriously, you pick this guy. The hinder grenade feels terrible to use, terrible to play against. No one has fun. Yeah, they, they, they kind of did butcher his grenade now. Like, it's not that good anymore. Um, but, like, that was the whole problem with Cass's change. Was you basically made a new Orisa where it's either going to be terrible or insane. So now Cass is just kind of not that good. But you can't buff it, because if you do... <laughs> You pick Arissa. Super boring. Super overpowered. No one has fun in the game. No one has fun. And like Roadhog now, you hook someone in. I, I still stand on this hill that I don't actually think Arissa's OP. I think that what she's OP at is just not dying. And because she can't die in such a high damage, high healing meta, she ends up doing a ton. But if we didn't 
have that meta, you wouldn't need Arissa to be like that, and then other stuff could work, and... Uh, Personally, when I play Arissa, I don't feel that impactful. That's all I was trying to say. I feel most impactful by just not dying, which is really dumb. You die. They don't have fun because they're getting hard CC. You don't have fun because you're worthless. What's the point? And why is Sombra still in the game? Like, they took old Doom out of the game, but left all these other problematic characters in. Sombra, Widow, Ana, and I figured out why. He was too much fun. Not allowed anymore. Not allowed. Go pick Hanzo Torb and shoot down the choke the whole game be a good obedient player and pick wait this is old torb M new torb shoots much faster than this it's like boom 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 Everybody else is picking and be bored but what do you guys think i already know there's gonna be that one guy who's a diehard arissa fan and i hate you <laughs> i'm glad somebody said it i'm glad somebody just said content, it i hate you <laughs> Oh man, loud as the three. I just hate you. That's so funny. Three things all Overwatch players have experienced. Number one, having the aim of an assassin at the practice range, but as soon as you get in the game, you turn into a stormtrooper. I can't tell you how many times I've run around the practice range, have an absolute 100% accuracy, feeling good, then I get tossed in the game. Because the bot's head hip boxes are massive, but we don't talk about that. Aim, and I couldn't hit water if I fell out of a boat. Number two, losing track of time. The amount of times I've hopped on just for a game or two, all of a sudden it's been four hours, I haven't eaten, and I have no idea what day it is. Yeah, I can't relate to that. It's, it's, it's embarrassing to admit. Number one, had that friend that said they're going to get on in five minutes, and then five minutes turns into five hours. What do you do? Chat, I'll give you ten seconds to guess who this is. <laughs> you guessed it. It's Car Q. I cannot tell you how many times this guy has messaged me and told me I'll be on in 10, 15 minutes, or an hour. And then if it's 10, 15 minutes, it's an hour. If it's an hour, it's three hours, <laughs> or he just doesn't show up. And it turns into five hours. What are you doing eating an eight course meal? Where the hell did you go? Three. <laughs> oh, that's really straight up car cute. It's so funny.